It's Margie with Big Tech Uncut. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to go over a little review on the Topia 360 virtual reality headset. So I kind of just want to do a quick review and let you know my thoughts on this because it's very popular right now. I didn't have the best experience with this headset and I'm going to talk about that now. So the Topia 360 headset, you can get it off of Amazon. And it's actually fairly inexpensive, which I think is one of the reasons why it was um, so popular or is so popular. So it does have a nice slick design. Here you get the black and the turquoise, which is super hot. I, I love that colorway right there. Has a nice little coating here or, or cushion, a nice face cushion here, which makes it extremely soft and extremely comfortable when you're wearing it. This one also came with a remote control. Let's see, you can use it with Android or iOS. So you just flip the toggle here. And it's kind of cool that it came with this, right? But it's not that cool if it doesn't work. The first thing, getting it out of the box, it was easy to set up. It hooked up right, right up to my phone via Bluetooth and that was pretty smoothly. I was pretty pumped, pretty excited. Then, when it was time to get going and playing some games on it, that's when I had a little bit of problems. Now, you hook it up, and the first thing you're going to see is the name of the remote control. It's going to tell you that it is connected for your media. So, whatever, I thought that was okay. But then you go and play a game, and it doesn't work. The controller just does not work. I tried flipping out batteries, trying different kinds of batteries. I tried different games. And I'm telling you not just one, not just two, I tried a dozen games. And I could not get the remote control to work. If you own one of these and you've had luck with the remote control, please let me know what you did. And so I know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if it's just with the Android. Let me know in the comments if you've got if you've had good luck with this remote control, but I have not had any luck, have not been able to play any games. I think it worked once. We got lucky one time playing this and it worked perfectly fine. That was it. That was the last time that the remote control actually worked for me. So, I mean, it's nice. It has this little joystick here and it has some buttons and you have your trigger button. And it's super nice. I mean, I like that it fits in your hand just perfectly. But again, not if you can't use it. The headset itself, I like. I like the style. It fits just about any phone. So you would throw your phone in here, clips right in. And I even had my phone in. I have the Galaxy S7 Edge with a case. And I had it in, fit perfect, nice and snug, and it clips via a, a magnet. So it just clips like that. Then you can adjust to your liking um, your personal settings with the view. So how you want your view and you just set it up however you want. Very comfortable. So there are some games on cardboard right now that you can play without the remote and those games are awesome. So I guess what I want to say other than the bad experience I've had with the remote. The headset itself has been awesome. If you can find some games that don't require the remote control, for the price, this headset's pretty sick. Now I do recommend picking up the headset that does not come with the remote control. One, this packet here with the remote control is more expensive, so that one's going to be cheaper. And two, why have a remote control and pay for it when you can't really use it? I would suggest picking this headset up because it is pretty dope and it works well with all of the games that you don't need remote control, it, it's perfect. You can watch movies on here, perfect. And it is so comfortable, so sick. I just like the options that you get with your movies and different trailers that you can view and stuff like that. Other than the remote not working, I totally love it. It works perfectly fine, super hefty. 
you get a nice quality headset for the price. And if you want to check it out, the link for this packet with the remote will be in the description along with the headset without the remote. So check it out. It's It's been pretty popular for the last couple weeks and I see why. It's, it's a pretty good quality headset for a very inexpensive price. And until I pick up the PlayStation VR, this is gonna be the headset I rock with for sure. It's super comfortable, super durable, it's lightweight. There's no buttons, that's one more thing I wanna go over. No buttons, so if you wanna click on something in the game, you have to make sure you're playing a game that you can just point your head to and it'll click. You can't click with, no, with the button. So that's what you would normally use the remote for. Just click a button to select something or, you know, if you have to move around with this or fire, there's games where you can fire. Yeah, doesn't work. So you're gonna have to use games that don't require you to click with a button. As you can see, there's no button on the headset itself. Just some adjustments here, an adjustment toggle up top, and that's all you get. Like I said, for the price though, works cherry, it's awesome. So that's going to end it for this little review slash opinion. You do have my opinion now, do what you want with it. I do recommend not getting the remote control, but give it a try, see, see what you like best. That's it for me. Don't forget to dab that like button if you liked this video because that helps me out a ton, guys. That helps me out so much. Thank you for everyone who's dabbing, dab, 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 dabbing those buttons. If you can see me from behind the, the camera, I'm, I'm literally dabbing over here. But anyways, go dab that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, stay super dope, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.